Drop everything because boxing legend Mike Tyson has just lit the entire sports world on fire. In a landscape-shifting interview, Iron Mike matter-of-factly announced the cancellation of the Floyd Mayweather vs. Manny Pacquiao Super Rematch. Yes, you heard that correctly. The long-awaited sequel between the two biggest stars and most skilled athletes in boxing history will not be happening. Tyson then revealed plans for an entirely different marquee megafight. Pacquiao against undefeated champion Terence Bud Crawford instead. I cannot overstate how chaotic and shocking these developments are. This completely reshapes the boxing universe. It would be like Tom Brady retiring a week before the Super Bowl. Tyson's revelations are still reverberating as we speak. Fans are desperately seeking answers while the media speculates wildly about why this happened. But amidst the confusion, one thing remains clear. The sport just got turned upside down. So strap in and grab some snacks, fight fans, because we have no idea the twists and turns that might follow next. The implications feel almost seismic in scale. Over the coming days, we'll break down this saga blow by blow, analyzing developments through every shocking twist and turn. So without further ado, let's begin. Mike Tyson sent shockwaves rippling throughout boxing with his explosive revelation. In a stunning interview that surprised many boxing and fight fans in general, the boxing legend, our very own Iron Mike Tyson, called off the blockbuster, highly anticipated Mayweather-Pacquiao rematch. Fans were extremely disappointed as not only did they want to see the rematch Manny Pacquiao has been asking for since 2015, but they also wanted to see Floyd Mayweather fight for one last time against his longtime rival. Instead, Tyson unveiled plans for an exciting showdown between Manny Pacquiao and undefeated welterweight champ Terence Crawford. As soon as the words left Tyson's mouth, the fallout felt swift and severe. The boxing world reeled in disbelief, struggling to process this massive news. How could the Super Bowl of boxing sequels, with two cash cow legends emerging from retirement, get scrapped so abruptly? Initially, it was reported that the fight would happen on the 22nd of February 2024, but those fans who were counting the days were extremely disappointed. While Tyson tried his best to mention the exact reason why the fight wasn't happening without sharing too much information, his comments suggested that strings were being pulled and someone didn't want the rematch between Mayweather and Pac-Man to happen. As an icon still deeply embedded in boxing's power structure, Iron Mike's words on this massive disappointing fall-off tell you that there's little to no respect in the heart of Floyd Mayweather for his long-term rival, Manny Pacquiao. Mike Tyson himself doesn't share a good relationship with Mayweather and has often called him out in the past as a scared man. Here's what he said about eight years ago when he was asked whether he rates Floyd Mayweather Jr. among the all-time greats like Muhammad Ali. He's very delusional. He can't listen. If he was anywhere near the realm of the great Ali, he'd take his kids to school by himself. He can't take his kids to school by himself. And he's great? Greatness is not guarding yourself from the people. Greatness is being accepted by the people. He can five take his kids to school alone by himself. He's a little scared man, a very small scared man. The abruptness of this news left both fans and stakeholders stunned. Were there early warning signs missed? The uncertainty only amplifies the chaos, with endless speculation filling the vacuum as the aftershocks amplify. In many ways, the dramatic turn encapsulates Tyson's career in a nutshell. The sheer unexpectedness that left the boxing world shaken mirrors Iron Mike's peak days as a volcanic force barreling through heavyweights. Once again, Tyson finds himself at the epicenter of chaos, having upended expectations with unpredictable fury. Although some fans may be disappointed by the sudden cancellation, Tyson believes that facing Crawford could create an even more exciting event. Matching Pacquiao against a younger and formidable champion sets the stage for an electrifying showdown. Pacquiao, the only eight-division title holder, challenging Crawford in his 40s reflects his enduring passion for the sport. Just recall his dominance over Keith Thurman two years ago, where Pac-Man treated the previously unbeaten champ like a punching bag, showcasing his remarkable speed, powerful punches, and captivating entertainment value that redefined boxing glory. Fast forward to today, Terence Crawford, aged 35 and undefeated, emerges as the heir apparent to boxing's pound-for-pound -pound throne. 
With unmatched technical proficiency, Bud excels in offense, defense, and counterpunching. His slick stance switching and ability to cut through defenses at odd angles have led to highlight real victories against renowned champions. Here's what he said about Manny Pacquiao recently in a podcast. Beyond the fan-friendly styles, the stakes are high for both legacies. Pacquiao still competing at an elite level after 25 years, defeating Crawford would solidify his status as a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon who conquered world-class opponents across multiple generations. On the other hand, overcoming an icon like Pacquiao would elevate Crawford to boxing's elite, silencing critics, and establishing him as the sport's newest superstar. Brace yourselves, as Pacquiao vs. Crawford has the potential to be a legendary battle featuring talents from different ends of their careers. While Tyson publicly revealed the bombshell, new details highlight Floyd Mayweather's behind-the-scenes control. Reports confirm Mayweather himself led the decision to cancel the rematch, despite intense anticipation for months. In a last-minute move, Mayweather expressed undisclosed concerns about the risks of a sequel, pushing for the shift towards Pacquiao-Crawford. The sudden change surprised insiders, but Mayweather's careful approach to his career explains his hesitation. Given Floyd's extreme caution in preserving his undefeated record and legacy, the potential risks posed by Pacquiao made him hesitant. Why risk blemishes when he has already solidified his claim to greatness at 47 years old with a pristine 50-0 record? After defeating Pac-Man before, doubts arose about the necessity of a rematch for Mayweather. There's speculation that he may have undisclosed plans to showcase new skills that could vanish if he faces defeat. This twist marks a significant development in their iconic rivalry. Their 2015 bout was the highest grossing fight ever, setting financial records and captivating global audiences. With Mayweather stepping back from the sequel, attention now shifts to Pacquiao Crawford. In the end, Tyson's revelation and subsequent details underscore Floyd Mayweather's continued influence over the sport, from matchmaking to shaping legacies. Mayweather's strategic prowess allows him to dictate outcomes on his own terms. When Floyd Mayweather backed out of their rematch, many fighters might have felt disheartened. Manny Pacquiao, however, thrives on overcoming challenges to prove doubters wrong. Instead of dwelling on Mayweather's departure, Pac-Man quickly shifted focus to arranging a match with Crawford. Once again, Pacquiao demonstrated his insatiable desire to face top-notch opponents, even in his 40s. Like a resilient phoenix rising from the ashes, Pacquiao constantly defies the odds and defies aging. Despite critics writing off his career, Pacquiao continues to turn back time with determination. Recall how Pac-Man defeated Keith Thurman just three years ago for another title in his 70th professional fight. He also overpowered future champion Jordanis Ugas before an injury affected the victory. Beyond his physical prowess, Pacquiao possesses an indomitable warrior spirit. His readiness to take on Crawford's challenge, despite the age and experience difference, showcases the senator's determination to leave a lasting legacy before retiring. For Crawford, this opportunity is a career-defining moment. Facing an icon like Pacquiao could propel him to elite status. Beating Pac-Man would be a pivotal victory that solidified Crawford's place among the boxing greats. As this surprising twist unfolds in the boxing world, fans eagerly anticipate the next moves in this stylistic battle between Pac-Man and Bud Crawford. When official announcements were lacking, Mike Tyson, the legendary boxer, turned to social media to make his voice heard. Unconvinced that traditional interviews were enough, Tyson used the power of social platforms to amplify his message. In bold capital letters, Iron Mike called on the decision makers to finalize the Pacquiao-Crawford fight without any delay. Tyson's signature aggressive style came through online as he insisted that the concept needed to become concrete with hard contracts. Tyson understands the unparalleled excitement surrounding major boxing matches better than anyone. When Manny Pacquiao's next opponent seemed uncertain, Tyson, acting as a power broker, sensed the potential for an instant classic if key figures could make this fantasy bout a reality. Beyond being a prominent figure in boxing activism, Tyson recognizes the crucial moment for his friend Pacquiao. 
Securing one last defining victory over an elite opponent could solidify Pac-Man's legendary legacy, allowing him to retire as a global icon. That's why Iron Mike used his intense advocacy to push for this fight to go from a mere concept to a confirmed reality. In many ways, Tyson's influence and flair could help bring this event to life through sheer determination. In the high-stakes world of boxing negotiations, Mike Tyson has emerged as Manny Pacquiao's most vocal and potentially influential supporter, urging the Crawford showdown to materialize. Get ready for the excitement. Even with the Crawford twist, speculation about a potential Mayweather-Pacquiao sequel continues to capture attention. As long as formal agreements haven't redirected the narrative, this fantasy fight remains a tantalizing possibility for fans. In the initial buildup, excitement steadily grew from curiosity to full-blown hysteria. Weekly rumors added to the mystique, suggesting Floyd's secret MMA training and Manny's mythical secret punch. The unknowns heightened the intrigue, building tension to a fever pitch. As weigh-in week arrived, anticipation filled the Vegas air. Even before the bell rang, you could feel the mental chess match between the two warriors. Psychological games were already in full swing under the bright lights as they engaged in trash talk, setting the stage for an epic showdown. The focus was on the iconic venue, Las Vegas's MGM Grand Garden Arena, where the original spectacle took place. There was a nostalgic desire to repeat history in the same ring, eight years later. Without signed contracts, uncertainty lingers on whether this fantasy fight will become a reality. Yet this void only fuels the excitement among boxing fans who are hoping to will it into existence through social media momentum. If early signs continue to point toward Mayweather and Pacquiao heading for a collision, expect the hype machine to kick into overdrive once again. In the realm of dream matchups, Terence Crawford seems to have positioned himself perfectly as plan B if the Mayweather fight falls through. Clever as always, Crawford stands ready for a showdown with Manny Pacquiao if needed. In a surprising turn, reports indicate that Crawford has agreed to face Pacquiao at 147 pounds. However, there's uncertainty about whether Top Rank and PBC can make this fight happen. Despite the uncertainty, everything seems set if the fighters are willing. For Pacquiao, eager to deliver excitement, this offers a well-suited comeback after his loss to Ugas. Crawford is also eager for another spotlight moment on his resume. Beating Pacquiao would undeniably establish Bud among the modern greats. The Pacquiao-Crawford matchup holds the promise of being a blockbuster. The only missing element is the signed paperwork to officially greenlight this fantastic fight. If Manny Pacquiao and Terence Crawford face off, fans expect a stylistic masterpiece showcasing the best of both generational greats. This dream match brings elite elements of boxing to the forefront. For Pacquiao, the strategy revolves around explosive starts, unleashing rapid-fire punches that are challenging to follow. Lightning combinations, surpassing 1,000 blows per round, create a rhythm that overwhelms opponents mentally. Speed Guru Justin Fortune predicts a similar early barrage, a trademark move that has worked for Pac-Man for years. Paired with deceptive footwork and angles, Pacquiao becomes a puzzle difficult to solve. Esteemed cutman Miguel Diaz compares deciphering Manny's attacks to solving a Rubik's Cube behind moving objects. Even as Pacquiao faces the limits of aging, his spiritual strength rejuvenates his legs and sharpens his killer instinct, evident in recent victories over Keith Thurman and Lucas Mathis. Crawford's technical mastery lies in supreme poise, flawless fundamentals, and a high fight IQ enabling precise execution. Whether in offense, defense, or counterpunching, Bud operates with minimalist precision like a grand chess master. Notably, Crawford's Swiss Army knife adaptability allows him to effortlessly switch stances and tactics based on opponents' tendencies. Comfortable as a southpaw or orthodox, he fluidly switches mid-fight, keeping his adversaries guessing. Against Pacquiao, this versatility adds thrilling intrigue. Could Crawford's shifting stances disrupt Pac-Man's rhythm, or might he adjust footwork patterns to exploit Manny's unorthodox movement? This style matchup promises endless entertainment, captivating audiences with its boundless value. Let the games begin. Beyond just providing entertainment, 
Pacquiao vs. Crawford carries significant weight as a critical judgment on legacies. The stakes are especially high for these two generational talents. For 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao, this could be his final chance to secure greatness before time catches up. Defeating the 19 years younger Crawford would solidify Pac-Man's legendary status in boxing, placing him at the pinnacle for eternity. It would showcase greatness that goes beyond conventional standards, emphasizing his daring risks throughout his career. On the other hand, Crawford's long-awaited moment must transform his potential into historical greatness. Beating Pacquiao would establish him as the torchbearer for a new era in boxing. Silencing skeptics about the strength of his past opponents, Crawford could echo through history by defeating a battle-tested legend. In essence, both fighters have significant opportunities. Pacquiao can conclude his career with a memorable victory, solidifying his extraordinary legacy. Crawford, after a decade of hype, can seize the torch from an aging lion and validate his potential. No doubt, the winner will earn a permanent place on boxing's Mount Rushmore, alongside icons like Ali, Sugar Ray, and Duran. The legacies at stake elevate the already high stakes even further. Thanks for watching this recap breaking down the bombshell boxing news. Whether Manny Pacquiao fights Bud Crawford or Floyd Mayweather next, the sport wins. Let me know your reaction to these shocking developments and who you expect to prevail.